Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about the new format, uh, following the ban list, uh, focusing more on altergeists and the potential it has for this format and for the meta going forward until September when the new ban list is due. Uh, before we get into the video though, um, I'd like to ask if you could subscribe uh, if you're new, um, check out my Twitter below uh, for daily updates and also check out my eBay. Um, I offer competitive prices with free uh, UK shipping and guaranteed next day uh, dispatches. It helps support the channel and to upgrade your collection at the same time. So it was a win-win. Uh, I'd appreciate it. So yeah, so without further ado, we are going to be talking about Altergeist. So I feel the deck is in a good place right now with Multifaker as three. Um, it was quite an unusual ban list, but it makes sense from a uh, standpoint from Konami as they want to uh, promote the sets they've released. Um, with the online meta right now, no one's really bought any products in terms of taking them to events, locals. Uh, so I think uh, it makes sense that Konami didn't want to ban any cards that we haven't yet played physically. Um, and it shows that they are disregarding the online simulators, which I think is quite interesting. Um, so yeah, so Autogeist, it is a very cheap uh, budget competitive option at the moment with the extra Extravagance reprint and the Multifigure reprint. Uh, it's been competitive for quite a while, um, so I think if you're looking for like a new deck or you want to pick the cards up again, I think now's a really good time. Um, especially with the reprints and the consistency of the deck. Uh, so in front of you here I've got a deck list that I've been testing online. Um, it's pretty standard in my opinion but I just want to go over a few reasons why I've chose these cards. So more specifically the uh, hand traps. I only play the 3 Ash and the 3 Impim. Um, the reason I do that is because I feel like Nibiru is strong, but the best decks can play around it. Um, but more so, the uh, main option is evenly going second. So opening evenly and in Pym, along with Multifigure, is such a blowout. And I think it's around 9% chance of you opening those two um, together, which is insane. And also to back the engine up, you know, we play the power cards like Imperial Order, the Solemn Package. Um, so yes, yeah, a really good option. You know, Melee Seek still three. Um, I still play three Marinetta. Um, you could probably cut it down to two, but I like that consistency still. And it's still a good normal summon because we don't actually play that many normal summons in the deck. Um, Pot Duality, you could probably cut to one, but I like seeing it. Um, you could explode, obviously, off going off turn three and four when you want to OTK your opponent. Um, but I just like that extra, you know, digging through your deck, trying to get to your engine. And then uh, Compulse, uh, I think it's really good in the main. You could probably side it or even take it out for like Crackdown, but I just think it's a really good card. Um, the extra deck, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, I, honestly, um, I think Hexteer is probably you know, the, the only card you actually use. Uh, Link Creeper obviously comes up to search the Faker. Um, but it's less as important now, luckily, uh, if it gets ashed, because you, you could have that Faker in hand. So yeah, um, side decks, you know, like I always say in my videos, the side deck is always um, dependent on the meta. Uh, in this case, summoning it is amazing, especially against the synchro spam decks. Um, I prefer to choose Lightning Storm. Uh, I think Lightning Storm is insane, especially against like Guru, the Mirror Match. Uh, even Draco is popping up now and then. Uh, Cosmic, again, really good against Eldritch. Uh, Didi Krill, again, good against El Eldritch, August. Uh, and then the Bureau, of course, which is like the power hand trap. Um, but yeah, I think this is, you know, it can be messed around with. I wouldn't say there's a, a right or wrong deck list to go off to, to go off at the moment. Uh, but this is just a standard deck that I've been testing with uh, online. So if you guys are looking for a list, feel free to use this, test it, and see, uh, let me know how, we get, how you get on with it. Um, so I think also guys are in a really good place right now. And if you're looking to play a budget deck that can paint, um, you know, Altergeist is, you know, it's going to be there for the next few months. So I'm interested to see what you guys have uh, opinion-wise. So if you have any uh, different views or 
uh, I'd love to hear your uh, comments, so please leave them below. I, I do read all, read all comments. And yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate, uh, obviously, the uh, like as well if you uh, agree with what I'm saying. But again, leave a comment um, if you have a different view. Also, uh, Altergeist Pukuri is coming out in the next main set, All Battles of Legend. So, multi figure to three was a, such a good marketing move by Konami to sell those sets to really push the Altergeist going forward. I think Pukuri is such a good card, it can make the deck a lot better. So that's quite scary to be honest, because obviously the deck's been around for a while, and it's good to see that Konami always supporting those decks that you know um, have been out for a while. We've seen it over the last few months with Tunes and Dark Magicians. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been the last uh, good few months of uh, reprints. Uh, obviously, you know some cards are too expensive like your Golden Lords, um, but yeah, so all guys really good, really good option. Also, uh, in other news. Um, some exciting news in the UK, so some shops are going to be opening from the 22nd of June, uh, which means locals are going to be opening. Uh, so I'm interested to see what decks you guys are playing, so leave a comment uh, telling me which decks you are planning to play. And of course, uh, I'd like you to stay safe, because uh, that is the most important thing. Also, obviously, playing Yu-Gi-Oh, we all miss it, but um, stay safe first. And again, uh, check, check out my Twitter, check out my eBay, uh, I'm going to leave it in the description below. And yeah, I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts, and I will catch you soon. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.